am I not turtle enough for the turtle club? Turtle, turtle. What's up, Breachers? And today I am bringing you the unkillable shadow build for the Bloodstalker class in the Shadow School of Magic. This build is going to be very tanky, self-sustainable, and high single target DPS. Now let's get into the gear, gems, and abilities. First up, we're going to go over the gear. Uh, the first three pieces are all interchangeable since they can all roll with the abilities or talents that you're needing for this build. Uh, two of the pieces of gear you're going to need 12.5% cooldown and charge a cure rate. And one of them you're going to need lacerate adds two stacks of bleed instead of one stack. Your fourth piece of gear, however, you are going to need basic attacks echo for 50% of their damage done. This build is very auto attack dependent, and this gives you a 50% flat increase to your damage, which is amazing with how this build is set up. And for our blue gems, we are rocking the defensive sapphires that give you damage resistance. We're using the flat one for a nice damage resistance early game, and then the per level for that little oomph during the end game to make us a little tankier. For our red gems, we are going to be using the flat haste ruby, uh, because this is a auto attack build mostly, the haste is crucial. And for our second ruby, we are using the flat increased damage per team level. However, if I had the gold, I should be using the Empowering Light Ruby of the Tiger for the 2% bonus melee damage per team level. And for the Prismatic Gems, we are going to be using Assassinate Health Based Damage. Since this build you're constantly going to be at max health, you can get maximum damage out of this Prismatic Gem and Assassinate. And for our second Prismatic Gem, we are going with Dive Bomb Damage. Increases dive bomb damage by 35% and also increases its cooldown by 35%. Now, why are we going with dive bomb, you might be asking? Well, I'm going to go over that when we go over the abilities. And for our first ability will be assassinate. This is going to be our bread and butter burst DPS ability that once you have your cooldown reduction can be used every 8 seconds. With this build setup, you're almost always going to be hitting for 1300 as long as you are basically near full health. And for our second ability, we are going with Dive Bomb. Now the reason I'm going with Dive Bomb instead of the Interrupt is because Dive Bomb has high impact, which is going to basically be an Interrupt on all creatures except for the boss creature at the end of the match. Uh, dive Bomb also, because it has a high impact, will annihilate structures and the blue orbs on the Tokyo map. This paired with the Prismatic Gem, Dive Bomb is also good for some extra DPS output. If you know you're not going to be using it, if there are no structures, you're still going to have an ability that can hit pretty dang hard on creatures. And for our third ability, we are going to go with Lacerate that does instant damage and applies a bleed, which does damage over time for 8 seconds. This can stack up to 5 times, which comes out to 600 damage over 8 seconds as long as you're keeping the bleed up on your target, which is equivalent to 75 DPS. Now this paired with the piece of gear that applies 2 stacks of bleed per use, let you get to the five stack mark with three uses of lacerate instead of five which is huge also we need lacerate in order to buff our signature ability which i will get to here shortly and for our ultimate we are of course going with bloodlust for the haste and life steal with this ultimate the single target damage you can put out is insane you will melt elites and you are going to burst down the boss in no time and for our signature ability of the Bloodstalker, we have Cursed Strike. Cursed Strike deals 300 flat damage and applies a blood curse to the target. Only one can be active at a time, which means you don't want multiple Bloodstalkers in a single group because then this ability becomes redundant. This ability you are going to constantly want to have on a target you are fighting. Uh, when a target is cursed, you will heal for 35% of all the damage you deal to that target, plus a flat bonus 35% heal for bleeding targets, hence why you want to have Lacerate. 
Subsequent attacks against the same target deal an additional flat 300 damage and heal you for an additional 30% heal. So basically, when you have your Echo and you're attacking for 50% of your auto attack damage and it stacks with this Curse Strike, you can put out some serious DPS. Add on your ultimate with the haste and you can melt elites and the boss at the end of the game like Buttar. Alright, now I'm going to switch over to some gameplay to show you how some of the abilities play out versus an elite and the boss. Alright, I started up an adept solo versus AI match. Here I'm fighting an elite. I'm going to show you how the dive bomb interrupt works when he does his AoE ground pound right here. Boom. Then I'm just going to kill him without even using my ult. You can see how much damage I'm outputting without even using my ultimate. And here's the final clip of just me fighting the final Tokyo boss by myself. My bots are fighting the elite out in the hallway. So I thought this would be a perfect time to pop my ult and fight him and just kind of show you how it plays out. All the numbers, all the healing. Uh, even with the minions getting in the way, they absorbed a couple of my abilities here, which kind of put a damper on the DPS I wanted to do, but I was still able to do a little over 5,000 damage with my alt up, which is not bad at all, considering you completely are able to sustain yourself from the damage re being received. Um, and that will be about it for this guide. Uh, hopefully... This build comes in handy for some of you if you wanted to make a shadowy tank build. Uh, if you have any comments or concerns, please leave them below. I am trying to get better at this whole video making and editing thing, so if there's any feedback or criticism at all, feel free to leave it below. Uh, I can't get better unless I know what's wrong. <laughs> Hopefully you guys have a good day, and catch you later, Breachers.